Thank you. Good morning from not so sunny San Diego. We've been in this June gloom, May gray kind of stuff. So it's just been a little gloomy in the morning, but it's all good. It feels good, so love that. Um, but I haven't done a like what I eat in a day and honestly since quarantine of 2020, like right when I started YouTube and I watched it back and I was like, that's funny. I kind of still eat sort of the same as that, but I'm gonna try to like throw in a few other little twists that I do now for Dylan and I just to show you all kind of what I eat in a day. Um, this is definitely not consistent with what I actually eat every single day, but with the groceries I typically buy and what I'm in the mood for, this is gonna be what I make. Sorry, I need another cup of coffee. Dylan just brought me some. So step one, coffee. So this is the Jura. I love this thing. Um, we have a frother. I don't use it. I think Dylan does. Maybe that's why it's out. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's amazing. I should probably switch to like a better for you creamer. I usually do French vanilla or hazelnut, um, but my Instacart person got me Italian sweet cream. It's a little surprise. It's actually really good. So just do like a little baby splash of this. It just brings me happiness. Like almond milk is good. I will drink it, but this is just like, it's like home to me. Like this is why I wake up 30 minutes earlier than, well, I didn't wake up that early today. This is just what gets me up in the morning. You know what I mean? I'm also gonna, have to do my dishes. This is the worst they've ever been stacked up, but it's because last night I made this dinner. I'll just show y'all since this is a little foodie, foodie vlog thing. I made this last night. It was so good. Um, so it's gonna make good leftovers. Like, well, maybe tomorrow since I'm doing what I eat in the day. Um, but it was pesto pasta with broccoli, asparagus, sun-dried tomatoes, and I made turkey meatballs. Um, so love that for me, but uh, let me just show you this dish situation. It was like late at night and I was like, I don't feel like this is the worst, like literally it's ever been. So I think I'm gonna do a transition thing. One, two, three, and voila, we're clean. So for breakfast, I'm just gonna do a little scramble with eggs, tomatoes. I put these little, I like cut them in half and put them in like eggs every single day. Sprinkle some spinach in, get some greens in. Um, sprinkle in some feta, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cook these on the stove top. They're just like these frozen um, hash browns. I've been obsessed with them, so is Dylan. Um, but it's just gonna be a little bowl, add a hash brown in there, and yeah, add that. Okay, always wash your tomatoes, um, but I like savory stuff in the morning. Dylan does too. Um, he also doesn't like peanut butter and anything that's sweet in the morning for me includes peanut butter like peanut butter banana toast or like peanut butter and apples or like some kind of smoothie I just want to be able to like eat hot sauce by 9 a.m. So um, Yeah, that's why I like making egg scrambles plus they're just so easy and it's an easy way to get like a few vegetables in and protein So you're not like hungry throughout the day so yeah, I'm an egg stan. Oh my hash browns are kind of, they're getting steamy. Plus I like things where I can put it all kind of in one pan so that I don't have to just do the dishes like I did for 30 minutes. You feel me? What do y'all eat for breakfast? Let me know in the comments below. I always feel so silly saying that, but I'm actually serious, like I read them. Does anybody else just microwave their coffee like three times every day? Or is that just me? Is it bad to do that? Does that ruin the caffeine effect or anything? I just forget about it. And like I was like doing the dishes, so I'm not drinking coffee. So we just gotta heat her back up a little bit, you know? Okay, nice and crispy. I season them with salt and pepper. Uh, <laughs> 
Literally, this is so humbling. Ugh, I'm such a chef. Okay, so set those aside and let's do the eggs. So usually I have like two eggs and Dylan will have three-ish. So in total it's just five and I kind of split it up, however. Dylan also like works out most mornings, so he probably is hungrier than I am. Because I'm lazy and I watch Netflix sometimes. Y'all know how it goes. I use a fork to whisk it in here. I don't um, whisk these separately. A, because I'm a bit lazy, but B, I can't tell really a huge difference. And I saw like Gordon Ramsay um, do this. So, how about that? Stop, I gotta get a new one. It's like, it like doesn't open, it comes out the side. I like it when they're not too, too, too cooked, but not too runny either. So, just normal scramble. Okay, here's Dylan's bowl. He's really into ketchup. He used to like kind of lie to me and say he liked hot sauce, but we kind of figured out he doesn't like it. But he would just say that he did. So he gets ketchup, and I did a little bit of ketchup on my hash brown, and then Tabasco. So, there's the first meal. And yeah. So Dylan's having a meeting in the back, so I usually bring him his food because in the morning he's like packed with meetings. And look what he pointed out. Literally, like, am I okay? It's like totally stained, so. I'm gonna go have to change. I have some work stuff and I'll be back for lunch. Mwah. Okay, so he's been on calls all day and I've been shooting content on my phone all day. So what'd you snack on? I had these chocolate plant-based donuts. They're so good, I'm starving. Greenhouse foods. Are you hungry? Yes. Do you want um, like a wrap or a big yummy salad? Is it your question? No. Big yummy salad. You do? Or a wrap. Okay, what, which one do you want? Wrap! 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 I feel like we typically kind of eat like lighter-ish for lunch um, because we eat breakfast kind of late sometimes and then dinner we'll like usually eat something heavier. Um, but I think today we're just gonna do an easy, quick wrap. Um, so let me, let's see what ingredients we're working with. Do you want a turkey wrap? Wrap, rack. You want a doggy rack? Not a rack. You look scary. Have you done the seen the thing? How long with if Mike Myers started chasing you? Oh, I would. I would. No, but you're Mike Myers. You have to. <laughs> I have to like unlock the door really quick. All right, so here's the ingredients for the wrap. I think we're just gonna do very simple, like everything I have in my fridge. So tomato, onion, spinach, avocado, Swiss cheese, turkey, mayonnaise, mustard, and I will most likely put hot sauce on my hot sauce. I can't speak today, hot sauce. I need to eat, my blood sugar is low, girl. Don't cut my fingers off. Okay, first things first. We're gonna cut up our veggies. Does this knife just suck ass? Oh, there we go. Why is it smoking? Did anyone see that? Wait, Joel, why is that smoking? Avocados aren't supposed to smoke. What's going on? I'm scared. I've never seen that doll. So I just played it back. I don't think you can tell, but the avocado was like smoking. Like, I don't know if it was like, like starting a fire where you like. Anyways, cut your vegetables. Hopefully your avocado doesn't smoke and catch on fire. Step one, get your tortilla. 
I'm gonna add some mayo. And we're gonna do a little bit of Dijon mustard. Where is it? Here. Huh? Right here. That's not mine? Oh, this is the mustard. Don't. And now we're adding in our turkey. This will be Dylan's. He likes a lot of turkey. Let's do more. How many you want, Dylan? One more. Okay. And we'll do some Swiss cheese. I never get a Swiss cheese, are you excited? I love Swiss cheese. Do you? <laughs> it's my favorite cheese. The seasoned the tomatoes, I just feel like they hold flavor very well. Literally, like it explodes. Now, the onions. That's a lot of onions. I'm a growing boy, so I need my onions. And sliced his hand open, cutting an avocado. So don't do that. So don't do that, kids. And then a little bit of Mike's hot honey drizzled on top, just so we have a little sweetness. I used to work at Chipotle, if you can't tell. And uh... Why is this a disaster today? Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. What is going on? So this is from my days at Chipotle. He didn't work at Chipotle. That is, this is actually very, going well. So then we cut it in half, you angle the cut because that's what they teach you at Chipotle. When I worked there? When I worked there. Ooh. Okay, not that's bad. That's actually beautiful. We don't have chips, or we, like not like fun chips, but we have salt and vinegar pistachios. These are so good. So we'll add some of those on the side. And bada bing! I have a question I ask people all the time. The type of cuisine, if you had to eat one for the rest of your life, mm. what would it be? Italian, Japanese, Chinese, mm. Mexican food, French. Mm. Are spicy chicken sandwiches like American? In tater tots? Southern? Southern works. You could do Southern. Is that it, your deal? I just feel like I could eat it forever and be pretty happy. Like I would miss chicken sandwiches if I went like Mexican food. I do like, oh, Mediterranean food. I could do like Greek food forever. Like fresh chicken, you know? <clears throat> what, yeah. Originally, it was a tight, tight battle between Mexican food and Japanese food. Recently, I think we've been to Mexico. You just can't, you just can't beat it. Chili killies for breakfast, breakfast burritos, tacos for lunch, burritos for dinner. It's just unmatched. So mine would be Mexican. They have good like fajitas. Yeah. Such a wide range. Mm. Mm. I do love Italian pizza, pasta, chicken parm. I like it all. So, I'm gonna do a little lemon water, and I'm actually growing um, a bunch of lemons and limes, and then I have some avocado trees, but I don't see any avocados on these yet. Like, when do they start showing up? Like. What height will I start being able to make some like guac and avo toast? Um, but this lemon looks good. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna snag this one and it's literally so fresh. Oh, hold up. There we go. Yay! 
and you can actually smell the citrus on it like from the very end um, so I'm just gonna do a little lemon water so yeah and um, sometimes I'll do a snack um, it just honestly depends on how I feel that day and honestly how much time I have um, like if I eat a really light lunch or a super light breakfast, then I'll throw in some snacks, but I'm not really in a snacky mood right now. Plus it's like three or four o'clock. So I'm just going to do a lemon water and, um, yeah. It's dinner time. I got like the littlest baby sweat in. I've been doing these little like 10 minute abs on YouTube on days where I don't go on like long walks and stuff. Um... So I think for dinner, we're just gonna do like a chicken stir fry, like pretty simple. We, we ate a late lunch, like really late for us. So we're not starving, but we wanna eat something obviously. Um, so again, I love when I can just throw everything into one pan and that's what you can do with the stir fry. So here we go, bon appetit. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in some broccoli, green beans, and some shredded carrots, and then Dalton's gonna do the chicken, and then I'll do like soy sauce, teriyaki, garlic, all that stuff. steam these greens before I add the carrots because they're already like shredded, so. Crunchy chili onion sauce, just so it's a little spicy. I'll mix it up. Put a lot in there. You want more? Tina, come get your dinner. Nice. Do you know the reference? Napoleon Dynamite? Of course. Soy sauce. I, I'll add more to taste and stuff. I just don't, I'm always too scared to go overboard with that. And then teriyaki. I'm gonna add more after I mix, but I don't wanna. That's probably good, honestly. <laughs> I wanna add peanuts. I like adding peanuts to my Asian dishes. Are they over there? Peanuts. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I think Dylan's unsure of the peanuts, but he'll like them. This looks good. You're oh, such a good chef. Yum, yum. So at our last house, we didn't have a dining table. So there's just something about sitting on the ground at the coffee table that just, I don't know, it's like nostalgic. Like, it's a vibe, you know? Anyways, super, super good. And I feel like the carrots hold the teriyaki really well. So shredded carrots is like a good move, you know? Eating by this beautiful white couch and new rug. We're a brisky household. Okay, what's your rating? 10 out of 10. 10? Wow. You heard it there, folks. Um, there's kind of my what I eat in a day, sorta ish. I mean, also, what I eat in the days have like a lot of pressure to them because it's like, like, does anybody eat the exact same thing every day? Every day? Um, anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon.